Question number 17. Now this looks at first sight like it's going to be nice and easy. Calculate 3.81 add 18.3. Well there are a number of traps that they have laid out for us that we're going to try and avoid. Now one thing you definitely don't do with this is try and do it in your head. If you try and do it in your head, you'll almost definitely make a mistake. So what we're going to do is do a column method. They've deliberately written the numbers side by side to tempt people to do it in their heads. What we're going to do is write one number on top of the other. Now then, what you'll notice is that the first number has got two decimals after the point, and the second number has got only one digit after the point. So that's a little bit sneaky. So the easiest thing to do is actually write the decimal point in first. And then we're going to guarantee that we get the numbers lined up correctly. So let's put the bigger one on top. So we've got 18.3. And then we've got 3.81. So 3.81. Now put your two lines for your answer. And the decimal point is going to be lined up in the answer as well. So you can put that in now if you want to. As long as you remember to put it in the end, you could have put it in at the end. Okay, now we're doing an add. So, we always start at the end of the sum. Now there's a massive gap here. So what are we going to put in this gap? Well, if ever there's a gap in a sum like this, you fill it in with a zero. So 18.3 is actually the same as 18.30. And now we can begin. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 plus 8 is 11. Put your 1 in, carry your 1 to the next column. 8 plus 3 is 11 again, plus that 1 is 12. So put your 2 in, carry your 1. And 1 plus this 1 that I've carried is 2. So the final answer is 22.11. And that's the answer that needs to get written in the box. You could actually th thought about this as money. So 18.3 pounds is basically the same as saying £18.30 and this one would be £3.81 so your final answer is £22.11 you don't really need to put a pound sign on because it doesn't say pound but that is one way that you could have thought about it the most important thing about this one is to make sure you line up the numbers around the point and fill in that, in the, that zero there